Oh my goodness, Julio Jones just got traded to the Tennessee Titans. And you know what? I'm going to tell you why this don't mean shit in the landscape of the NFL. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Oh my goodness, we just got a bombshell just dropped on us on a Sunday, man. We just had a bombshell that dropped on us. It seemed like the Atlanta Falcons are just agreed to trade all world, all universe, all star Julio Jones to the Tennessee Titans for a bag of peanuts and a bag of potato chips and then for a bag of uh, sunny delight, man. I'm talking about they just basically gave away Julio Jones to the Tennessee Titans for nothing. I feel you, Arthur Smith. You just gave him a solid. We all know Arthur Smith just came from the Tennessee organization. And we all know how he feel about the organization. How the organization gave him a solid. Gave him his opportunity as a coach. Gave him an opportunity to be a, a, a tight end coach. Gave him an opportunity as he leveled up. So we know Arthur Smith is a loyal guy. So when he came to a situation where he got to get rid of his star player, Julio Jones... Obviously, there were countless amount of uh, of takers. You know what I mean? We heard about the Ravens. We heard about, obviously, the Rams. We heard about the 49. We heard about basically the whole entire NFL. But why was the Tennessee Titans the key favorite? Plain and simple, man. The relationship between Arthur Smith, man, is and, and the Tennessee Titans organization. That's what it came down to. Because it's like this. Once you have a relationship with someone, right, and then all of a sudden you're like, Mike Vrabel and company was like, yo, Arthur, if I don't get Julio and Julio go to the Baltimore Ravens, you know what that means? The Titans' odd chances of going to the Super Bowl is not compromised because of that. You don't think Arthur Smith ain't going to do that to, to his man Mike Vrabel? He ain't going to do that to his man Mike Vrabel. So now what does this mean for the Tennessee Titans? I'm going to be real with y'all. This means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, bro. Y'all thinking Julio Jones is going to be the reason the Titans go to the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Y'all go check out the Titans last year. Check out their defense. I ain't worried about their offense. Yes, they got the, the, the strongest um, um, skill players in all of football with A.J. Brown, Julio Jones, and Derrick Henry. Yes, they got the best bodies. Yes, the Tennessee Titans got the best looking skill players. If you guys are talking about the strongest man challenge, ain't nobody going to beat the Tennessee Titans, bro. If you're talking about arm wrestling, who got the biggest freaking biceps? Who got the biggest triceps? Ain't no one could see the Tennessee Titans. You know what? Hey, the group might be a Titan, though. Look at this bicep. Hey, man, my friend, bro, I'm swole. I might be a Titan, baby. Tighten up. So with all said, with all jokes aside, though, y'all know how I feel about my man, um, Air Hill, baby, Mr. Finger Roll Tannehill. Y'all better get it twisted. His name is Air Hill, man, because he's going to be making uh, straight dimes, dropping dimes. But at the end of the day, I'm not worried about them offensively. I'm concerned with them defensively, man. Defensively has always been the issue with the Tennessee Titans, especially last year. They need a pass rusher. They need somebody to get sacks, dog. They need somebody to get sacks. I don't even know who they need that. They need a d dominant um, linebacker to at least tackle. They need uh, they need a DB. I know they drafted a rookie, um, Chris Farley over there from Virginia Tech. But let's just be real, dog. Let's just be real. You are not a rookie corner away from being a Super Bowl contender. No. A rookie corner is never, never the reason why you are not going to the Super Bowl, dog. So with everything said and done, this is a good Good starting point for the Tennessee Titans. But as far as 2021, y'all think they're Super Bowl team? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Yes, they might win their division because that division is whack. You know what I'm saying? You got the Texans. You got the Jags. And we got the Colts with, uh, with Carson Wentz. So we don't know how this situation is. So, yes, for the division, that's probably one of the worst divisions in football. So, yes, that's going to be an upgrade. But as far as the landscape... When I'm in the whole landscape against the Chiefs, no, I don't think the Titans could beat the Chiefs. I do not. Against the Buffalo Bills, no, I don't think the Titans could beat the Bills when it comes down to it as far as that roster, you know. And frankly, I don't think the Titans are uh, right now the way they're set up, you know what I'm saying, uh, could even beat 
um, 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 the Cleveland Browns, to be honest with y'all. So, yes, it's a major, major move for the Tennessee Titans offensively. But at the whole landscape of it, are the Titans the NFL favorite? No. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because of Air Hill. Because nobody's scared of my man, Finger Roll Tannehill, a.k.a. Air Hill. As much as I love him. Tannehill is a very good quarterback, but even a Julio Jones ain't gonna make Tannehill look like Tom Brady. Hell nah. So yes, Titan fans, y'all tighten up. Yes, y'all gonna be a um, continue to be a perennial playoff team. But as far as a Super Bowl contender, I don't think it's a Julio Jones. I think you guys are more of an edge rusher away. To be, uh, you guys need more of an edge rusher to be a Super Bowl contender rather than a um, Julio Jones away, man. So with that said, tighten up. With that said, I know y'all love Julio, and I love the Julio plan, and I love Rabel and company, but just calm down, Titan fans. Calm down, NFL. This did not change. This did not move the needle at all. The Titans, you're still going to be a 9-10 to win team with Julio Jones. You guys are going to be a 9-10 to win team without Julio Jones, man. And that's just the way it is. And y'all tighten up.